Hi guys. <laughs> I know I haven't done this in ages. But I really just felt like filming my like makeup and a little bit tiny tiny bit of skincare. Just what I do in the morning to prep before makeup. So I think the rest of this video will probably be voiceover. But yeah. I hope you enjoy. Hi, so as I said, this is my everyday makeup, but with skincare first. So first I'm just toning and exfoliating my skin with the Pixi toner. And um, basically I'm doing a voiceover because my dad is cutting the grass, so it's really loud. <laughs> so yes, I just like to make sure I do this. I don't normally wash my face in the morning because I would have washed it the night before in the shower so it's still relatively clean so then I just go in with my body shop aloe um, moisturizer and it's quite hydrating but it's not thick so I like it before makeup um, yeah and then I'm going in with my Ola Henriksen eye cream I only got this the other day and it was a bit of a splurge but yeah this is my first time using it and look how, like, that's me saying, look how bright it is <laughs> compared to the other eye. It's pretty good. It's a nice, leaves it nice and tacky, but not too sticky for makeup. And then I'm just putting on a little bit of this, um, by Terry lip balm that I got in the, in the fro, um, traveling pack of skincare. And I'm just using the Cabral brow is that what it is i can't remember but it's the clear brow gel from benefit um because i like making sure my brow hairs are all brushed up before i fill them in especially when they're looking this messy because otherwise i just do not know how to shape my brows when they're like how to fill them in when they're so out of shape like they are now so then i just fill in the sparse gaps with the nyx eyebrow pencil the one that's really precise And even though, like, a lot of people don't fill in the front of their brow, I think on me when I don't do that, it looks too scarce. So I, I do go into the front of my brow. It's kind of hard to fill them in when they're really, like, when they've got so much gel on them. But I have to do this when my eyebrows aren't plucked. Because otherwise, I really have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing the other brow now. I don't know what made me want to film this, how I do my makeup every day. I really just, I mean, I haven't done this in ages. I don't know what came over me. So then now they're looking a tiny bit more groomed, I do go back in with that clear brow gel. Because sometimes when you do downward stroke hairs, like it does affect the way they are. And so now I'm putting this um, Becca primer on before my makeup. I really, really like it. It's really hydrating. It smells so good as well. It smells like lemon and ginger. Perfect for the morning. And then, what am I doing? Oh, I'm just shaking up my foundation. I'm using the, the NARS one, the cult one that everyone loves. I'm in the shade Barcelona. So I just dot that on my face and then I go in with a flat top kind of a kabuki brush. It's just a flat flat top foundation brush. And I just stipple that into my skin until it's all blended. I think this matches my skin tone really well. I wasn't so sure, but now seeing it back on video, I think it does. I'm sorry about all the background noises. That's my dad still cutting the grass. And my computer's a little bit uh, overheating, I think. Oops. And now I'm just going in with the NARS creamy concealer. And I'm just putting it under my eyes and in any, any places that need a little bit more coverage. But I don't go in with too much of this. I like, I want this look to be quite natural 
even though I use a lot of cream products. I basically only use cream products except powdering underneath my eyes and in the slightly in the T-zone later. I think it's perfect for the summer, not to look too heavy and to look more dewy. So yeah, I'm just using my foundation brush again to buff that into my skin, make it look all nice. And then I'm just, because I forgot to, I forgot to bring my eye primer with me to the bathroom and I couldn't be bothered to go and get it. So I'm just using a bit of concealer um, as eye primer. And I should have set it, but I think I forgot. But normally I'd set it with powder when I set the rest of my face. Yeah, here's me forgetting my powder. I'm going to get it. I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in yellow, the yellow shade. And I'm just taking it on a brush, but tapping a lot of it off because I really do want this to be a dewy look. And just sweeping it underneath my eyes, just so it doesn't crease. Making funny faces as I do it. And then just on the rest of my T-zone too. The good thing about this powder is, even if you put cream products on top, it still looks pretty good. Like it doesn't, it doesn't go all weird and patchy. So then I'm taking this Fenty stick in the shade Mocha. Um, it's a perfect, perfect, like in-between shade, between like a contour shade and a bronzing one, because it's not too warm toned <laughs> that's me cancelling out my double chin <laughs> um, and then I just use my foundation brush again I feel like using the same brush as what you used for your base just helps blend it in better when it comes to uh, blending my cheekbones I try to move my brush in upward motions because you don't want that contour going too low um, I like the effect of high cheek boots. Oh, it's my dad. So now I'm just taking a little bit across my nose because I don't want it to look too bare in comparison and then I'm putting it in the sockets of my eyes because instead of using eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to take whatever bronzer I have and whatever highlighter I have and do a simple look. So I'm just blending that into the eye socket making sure it's nice and blended and then I take a little bit on a pencil brush in a second um, and I just put that underneath my eyes and in the outer corners to make it all match up top and bottom I'm sorry if you can hear my dad in the background he's shouting at my brother for taking too long in the shower I think <laughs> so then I'm yeah, I'm just doing this on the other eye, making sure it all looks even, but I'm not being too particular with it because um, it's supposed to be an everyday look after all. It doesn't have to be so precise. Yeah, then I'm just putting more into the outer corners with a different brush because the pencil brush wasn't working so greatly for that. The same blending brush I used before for my sockets. So then when that little shadow's in there, next is blush, and I'm using the cloud, this cloud paint in a pretty neutral colour, I can't remember what colour it is. I'll put everything in the description box. And I just take a little bit of my ring finger, I think I'm used to my ring finger because that's what you're supposed to use for your under eyes. Anyways, then I'm just patting it in. It looks so nice, I feel like you can't really go overboard with this blush. It's just so, like, it just is the perfect natural flush. I really need to remember what the shade that is. Yeah, as I said, I'll put it down below. Then I just put a little bit on my nose because I kind of like that, like a little bit sun-touched look, you know? It evens up my face, it leaves the middle of my face not looking so bare and two-dimensional. So then next is another matchsticks. This is the one in Tripping, and this is what I'm going to use as my highlighter. So I'm just taking a, f um, a normal foundation brush, and I'm brushing it on the stick. It looks quite pink here, but it has a really lovely gold shift. 
and um, applying that to my cheeks. Like, look at the golden glow it gives you. I absolutely love it. Defo recommend. <laughs> look how excited I am. <laughs> and then I put the remaining on my nose, on my cupid's bow. And then I go in with my finger and put it on my eyelids. Oh no, I go in with a, f a, n a shader brush. Um, and pretty much do the same, but on my eyelids instead of on my face. so beautiful this product if you're if you've got medium skin i definitely recommend it as a highlighter cream highlighter but it, the thing is when it applies you don't need to set it because it sets itself if that makes sense i don't know if it claims to do that but i find that it looks natural but still like a powder on the skin so this is when i go in with the setting spray i'm using the urban decay all nighter um, and then while my eyelashes dry, I do my lips because obviously my eyelashes are wet from the setting spray. So I'm just lining it with Strip Down from MAC and I don't really overline my lips because, I don't know, I'm okay with the shape of them. <laughs> and um, it's a perfect nude liner for me. And it's like more on the peachier brown side. It balances out this Pillow Talk lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. That's me saying so fancy. <laughs> and this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is a good pink nude, but it definitely is on the pink side. You can't, you can't like, it definitely looks like you're wearing lipstick, that's for sure. So then once I'm done with this, I use my NARS eyelash curlers and my Mons Your Big waterproof because... If I use normal mascara, my eyelashes don't stay, stay curled, and I do not have the money for a lash lift. <laughs> so, waterproof mascara it is. So, yeah. I think, oh, curling your lashes, even if you don't wear mascara, just makes all the difference, doesn't it? See? <laughs> and then I go in with two coats on my top lashes, and whatever's left on the mascara wand on my bottom lashes. And, um, yeah, I don't curl both sets of lashes first and then put mascara on because while, while I'm curling the other lashes, the first ones fall down. Yeah, so. But waterproof mascara is really the hack if you've got straight lashes that don't like being curled. So then I'm just doing the same on the other eye. Sometimes when I curl my lashes, not all the lashes get into the curler, so that's why I'm doing it twice here. And, um, yeah, I thought this was the last step, but it's not, because I think while, while I was doing my mascara, I noticed that the cream products I used on my eyes were creasing a little bit, so after my weird mascara faces, while applying mascara, I just, right at the end, I go back in with a tiny, tiny bit more of the flower powder by beauty bakery um after smoothing out my eyeshadow and by using a really like whatever's left in the lid and not actually any product like new dipped on the brush that way it doesn't let the glow go away from the look hope you enjoyed